All right, it's time to grab the bikes, the helmets, the water bottles. As you get ready, we are just a few weeks to Paceline 2023, a great ride for a great cause. That's right, and this morning we have President of Paceline, Martin Jones, as well as CEO of the Medical College of Georgia Foundation, Ian Mercier, joining us this morning to tell us all about the event happening. Thanks for joining us, guys. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. All right. And nice to have you back, Martin. And uh, I can tell you like our mug right here. That's right. <laughs> he loves our mug. That's right. For people that may not be familiar at home about Paceline, tell us about what it is and why it was started. Yeah, so Paceline, I want to be clear about this, is an all-year-round movement. It really is. A, think of it as our community movement to cure cancer faster. So us getting together as a community, and, uh, and many folks think of it, Involve, as, our, as our bike event, like we have a huge fundraising bike right. event we'll talk about in a moment, but that really is a culmination of a year-round effort for our community itself getting around this cause, which is to cure cancer faster. And uh, the weekend of October 14th, that's Pace Day, we'll be starting at the uh, Common. What, uh, what are the steps to do if someone wants to participate or help out, whether they're on the bike or off? Yeah, yeah, good question. So uh, this is our proudly, you know, want to say it's our fifth year running. So with exception of the pandemic, this is our fourth main event this pace day. Um, and we've already got more riders, more participants, mm -hmm. more volunteers we've ever had before. We can't do this without volunteers. We have something like 300 volunteers. We still need a few more. Right. So volunteering is open on our website, paceline.org. Uh, it is a fantastic event. Everybody is welcome as a place for all abilities. Uh, it really doesn't matter whether you're fit, unfit. It's about having a spirit for curing cancer faster in your heart. Mm -hmm. And this is, our, as I say, a community effort. So registration is free. I want to say that too. Um, and there's even a downtown loop that we ran, started last year, very successful. For those who perhaps don't want to ride on the open road, they can do so on a loop around downtown Augusta. So it's one mile loops and do as many loops as you wish. A little bit safer. Exactly. People that are, it, may not be something as Something uh, for everyone. Yes. That's why this is yes. a great event for anyone at home that wants to participate. Ian, this is the fifth year of Paceline assisting the foundation. Talk to us about how this monetary uh, donation has helped. Yeah, you know, Paceline has sort of this unique uh, aspect to it, and that is 100% of the funds that are raised by the riders and all participants goes to cancer research. So the work that you're doing out raising funds with your family, your friends, when you're on the bike, all of that effort goes directly towards cancer research uh, at the Georgia Cancer Center. So the foundation has simply been that funding partner for these five years. Um, you know, Paceline, as Martin said, is a movement. It's an all-year movement. And so there are things that are happening all throughout the year. You know, it culminates on Pace Day. Uh, so all of the work that's being done not just in the community, but at the Cancer Center through Paceline. It's certainly, it takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of effort, and the foundation is very, very proud to be a funding partner for Paceline. And let's, let's just dive a little bit deeper into that. Exactly what kind of research is being done there for it? Yeah, great question. Uh, all kinds of research. It's not really focused in on one particular cancer. Um, the specific research, I think, is it's more important to focus on the type of researcher that's doing the work. And so Paceline is sort of unique in that it provides these seed grants. So a lot of research faculty at the Georgia Cancer Center, um, they are doing work that leads to these much larger uh, NCI, National Cancer Institute, or NIH grants, which are in the millions of dollars. These are extremely competitive. And so what Paceline does is it gets a lot of these younger researchers an opportunity to collect data, to go out and evaluate um, whatever it is they're researching, and then that leads to the opportunity for much, much larger cancer-supported research grants. So I think that's, that's what it is. It's sort of like a force multiplier, if you will. Okay, everyone participating, you're riding for a cause and helping in the fight for cancer research. Let's go over the details, Martin, for Pace Day really quick, and for anyone that wants to volunteer because you still need more people. We still need more volunteers. Uh, I get asked all the time, when, when is it too late to register? It's never too late to register and sign up, either as a volunteer <laughs> or a, a participant as a rider. Uh, the main event, that's the ride itself, and the party all happening one day, that's Pace Day. That's a Sunday, the 15th of October. 
So I think we're 13, 14 days away from, yeah. from that. Um, but I also want to talk to uh, the opening ceremony. It's important for anybody watching um, who perhaps doesn't want to get involved necessarily on the bike, even though that it may be open to all. They might think, oh, I want to come along, just see what this is about. Then there's a great opportunity on Saturday night. We call it opening ceremonies. That's the 14th of October. All of these events, by the way, happening at Augusta Common. Okay. So everything is centered around Augusta Common. On the Saturday evening, between 5 till 8, we'll have live music, cancer stories. We have representatives from a cancer center. If you're a survivor, if you're struggling with cancer right now, if a family member or friend is, and you want to do something and feel like on a local level, come around this course together as a community, we'd love to have you there. It's free, no ticket required. Come along and see what this is about. That's opening ceremony on the 14th, so Saturday the 14th of October, 5 till 8 p.m. And then of course the next day is the big event, right. Pace Day, from the morning, all day, focused around Augusta Common. Paceline.org is the place to go. And we want to re-emphasize uh, this. It is a ride, not a race. Correct. All okay. abilities. <laughs> yes. yes. All right. Martin Egan, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, guys. Pleasure.